Hello everyone and welcome to Geometry Nodes in 3.0. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this animated, or not animated, Truchette tiling effect. So let's get started. First let's clear the scene and make room for our tile object. This will be the object that is repeated and what makes the Truchette tiling effect. So let's make a plane and delete all the vertices except for one, bring this vertice down to negative one, and extrude it using the E tool over to x1. Now let's copy this edge and bring it over to here to uh, x negative 1 and y1 right here. Next what we're going to do is scale this down to 0.5, press Control a and apply the scale. This is just easier to do but it makes it so that the distance between these two is 1 meter and from here to here is also 1 meter which is what we want. So this is our tiling uh, model but we could add in some flare to it. Let's subdivide this by one, bring these two vertices to the center by pressing S and setting it to zero. There we are. And then what we are going to do is add in a bevel modifier, set it to vertices, uh, bring this to a larger amount and turn up these segments. If the segments are just one, then we can make like a circuit board effect. I'll show you that later. But if we set it to something like 10, we get a curved look, which is what we want for the beginning. So with this, let's make our grid. To make our grid, let's add in a new plane, bring it over here, and what we want is one vertice per meter. So this is how we're gonna do that. Add in a mesh primitive, set it to grid. What we wanna do is add in a value node, bring it over here, set it to something like 10, and plug this into the X and Y, there we go, and use a math node, add by one, and plug this into the vertices. For this to work, the size needs to be one value less than the vertices. I'll show you why in a second. There we go, if we look at the grid right here, we bring this up to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all these are exactly one meter apart. But if it is not added by one for the vertice value, as we could see, the grid is not correct, it's offset which tripped me up quite a few times, but since I figured it out, I'll pass it along to you. There we are. Now what we're going to do is instance our tile on these points. Let's bring that over here. So let's use the instance on points node. There we are. And we're going to bring in our plane object. There we go, or our curve object in this case. As we could see when we attach this, we have an interesting pattern forming. It's not the pattern we want, but it's an interesting pattern nonetheless. Next, what we are going to do is add in a random uh, value node. There we are, random value, and set it to Boolean. What this will do is give us a zero or one value that we can then use to make into a 90 degree turn to make the true shit tiling effect. So let's add in a vector math node, set it to multiply, and the z-axis, we want this to be pi, pi, divided by 2. That is 90 degrees, but in radian form. This uses radians, not degrees. I wish it used degrees, but we'll just roll with it. So if we attach this right here, we get the Truchette tiling effect. Yay, you're done! Not quite. What we could do here is change the probability so that we get variations of the pattern. This one gives longer... Uh, longer stretches of uninterrupted uh, loops. But after this, what we are going to do is realize the instances. This will make it so that when we use the weld modifier in a second, there we go, I'll attach all the vertices and not act like all these are instances. So make sure you have this node or else everything will break. Next, what we are going to do is transform this into a curve object. So to do that, we want to add in another geometry node right here and use the mesh to curve node. There we go. Let's bring that over to here. And then what we can do next is add in a mesh to cur or curve to mesh node right here using a curve circle primitive. Let's set the resolution to five and bring the radius down. And as we can see, this is now meshed. This will show up in your render. But what if we want to set a material to this? Well, if we use the set material node, there we go. Let's make a new material and apply it here. Material 0.005, very creative naming. 
the material is now set. So we can make this something like gold or metal or anything you want. Also, I'll show you the shading later on that I did for the kind of cartoony look. But let's animate this Truchette tiling effect. So let's use a trim curve node right here. Uh, set it to length. And as we can see, it's now animated. It's as simple as that. Now, any loop that is closed off, as we could see here or there or there, uh, will not animate. It has to be an open loop, like one on the edges, in order for it to properly animate. So, with this, we could animate it, which on frame 0 will have V0, press I to add in a keyframe. Then later on, like at frame 138 in this case, we bring it up to where the animation is complete, press I again, and set T to change the interpolation to linear and now if we press play there we go it is now animated which looks really really cool i made an advanced version of this on my twitter so it might be far back on the timeline but be sure to check it out there we go so now what can we do well with that it, the effect is pretty much done oh wait i would i said i would show you the circuit board style of the effect so let's set this to 1, the segments to 1, and with this, boom, you got kind of a circuit board effect that still animates the way we want it to. So it's very cool. Uh, let's change the scale of the effect, like add in more uh, vertices and such. Let's set this to something like, I don't know, 25. As we could see, it's almost like a maze. And if you keep this animating for long enough, it'll turn into a really, really cool maze. So let's just keep it going for a bit longer. As we can see, the ones that uh, take a long time will take probably like a few minutes to get to the end if I didn't speed it up. But if we want to change this, we could just use the factor interpolation, which means each one will finish at the same time, as we can see here. So you don't have to worry about the timing. Personally, I like the length because each one goes at the same speed rather than ending on the same frame, but it's up to personal preference. So let's see a couple other things with this. If we disable the bevel modifier, uh, we just get a grid. And if we dissolve the vertices and just have the two edges, we get a much more standard uh, Truchette tiling grid, nothing special to it. But I prefer the more advanced versions because it looks prettier. But yeah, that is basically the entire effect. Um, if you want to support the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. And share what you make with this on my Twitter account, or yeah, just show me what you make. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Be sure to check out my Gumroad page, there's a lot of free stuff on there. See you in the next tutorial.